so uh, right now we have the score being increased for each player and if you wait when any of the players reach five points the scores are set to zero and we start all over again what we'll do now is implement a procedure to draw game over screen or menu that will appear whenever someone reaches the five points and for this we need to keep track of whenever the game is over or when the player wins the game and we'll check this on this check time label that is our game loop so let's create a variable that will keep track of this game active that will start as one to indicate that the game is active and this is like a boolean variable to keep track if the game is active if true we assign it to one and if false we set it to zero and the game is over now in the game over where we are assigning zero to each of the players we also set to false to zero the game active variable and the idea is that this variable will stop the game now again in the game loop before drawing and moving everything we'll check if the game is not active so cmp to compare cmp game active zero and if not we show the game over menu if the game is not active if game active is zero we show the game over menu if the game active variable is one the game is active and we continue with our game processing so let's create now show game over label and this label will call the draw game over menu procedure So if the game is not active, we show the game over menu. After we draw this, we just jump to our game loop again. And in the feature, we'll have key presses to jump to main menu or start the game. So Let's create now the procedure to draw the game over menu. We call this draw game over menu. Let's clear the screen first before displaying the menu. Let's come with this, clear the screen. And this procedure, oops, this procedure will draw the game over menu. We can copy the code. We already created to print the string to the screen. Let's copy this. In here, we change, we show the game over menu. Now we just need to change the string to be the game over title. 
and let's create now this variable right here let's go to the data segment we can game over and we end it with a dollar sign game over menu title let's test this now let's wait for the game to end so you can see the game over screen and the player reaches five points and let's see the text appears it's on the far right and it's blinking and awesome so let's bring it more to the left let's change the position let's bring it more to the left here with four and let's Add some text tell which player has won the game shows the winner let's copy this let's increase the row number and change to be the string of the winner Let's create now this string on the data segment. DB. Player zero one. This will be the text with the winner. Okay, let's test this now again. Let's wait for the five points. So, as you can see now, it appears on the screen, blinking as always, but it's on the, on the screen, so it's working. <laughs> so this is happening probably because we're all in drawing this text over and over. So let's just draw it one time and then wait for keep press. Um, so we'll use the one six interruption and this is not what we want uh, we just want to wait for any the stroke we need to move to ah0 then call interruption so move to ah0 and then we call the interruption 16h let's test and now whenever the game over screen appears we wait for any key press before starting the game again let's assemble this and cool so now the game over screen appears and it's not blinking like crazy as we've seen before so let's change now the code so we can see different messages depending on which player has won the game let's create 
uh, winner index that will be one if player one has won the game and two if player two has won the game then we just will feed this value into the text game over winner string instead of the zero that now appears so one for player one and two for player two now on the game over label we need to check which player has reached the five points so we just need to compare player one points to five whenever we reach game over and if it's not less than five the winner is a player one and of course if the player one has less than five points then the player two has won the game move winner index one and we continue the game processing the game over screen and if the winner is player two we set the winner index to two and we continue the game over processing again so let's continue game over and we continue to draw and restart the game so this code we just added will check which player has five or more points if the player one has le not less than five the player one is the winner And if not, then the player two is the winner. So if the player one has won the game, we update the winner index with the player one index. And if the player two has won the game, we update the winner index with two. So let's update the text. And before we draw the winner text, we update the text with the winner index we already set up. So let's create here a procedure that will update the winner text before we draw it and this basically this procedure what we'll do is feed into the text game over winner string instead of zero we will feed one if player one is the winner and two if the player two is the winner so in here we'll update the index of this string right here so this zero with the value of the winner index this index will be zero one two three four five six and seven so it's the index seven the zero that we want to update with the winner index so let's move to the index the new value 
can do this using this index notation plus seven the address of the beginning of the string plus seven with this we reach the desired character and you set it to be equal to the winner index but before we do this this operation we need to move the winner index to a register first so we move to the AL register and then we update with the AL register value so very simple remember that to show the value as the ASCII character of the number we also need to add 30H to the value of the AL register to summarize this if the winner index is 1 for example the AL register becomes 1 to convert this value 1 to be the character 1 that we want to display on the screen we convert it to the ASCII value by adding 31H so the result of this will be the one character in ASCII and then we just update the index in the text with the character so let's test this now Let's wait for the five points as always. So the player one will win the game and game over and player one won. As you can see the character one is appearing now. And right now we have our game over screen implemented.